So this is like Power Spike City. I love it. Tristana obviously going to be locked away here by T1, but what else are they going to augment their composition with, Wolf? That's my question. That's a real good question. Might just be the Zeri to come through here for Guma. We play that game again. Could also take the Leona away, but I think the Zeri is just too strong here, and that is what they're going to grab. See if the Leona comes through. We've just... seen rip into a Cassante relatively And they're going to do it. As, yeah, the Zeri top lane is just happening once again. So there is the Braum Caitlyn to come out from T1. We've already seen this from G2. Ansama looked decent on it, even though, though they lost that game number one. It's going to be the brand they lock in. Karthus, I think, is a little bit risky in this draft because there's so much explosive damage, so much AD carry damage here for and T1. Range. The first time the TL has lost here in this tournament if they do lose here. Otherwise, they could make a clean sweep all the way through. As already, CoreJJ in a bit of trouble, but Impact already wet, ready and waiting. Carrier having to flash to get himself out of the way as Umpty moves on over. Let's see whether they can get any added damage down as the Rocket Jump going to get Faker out of dodge. Given over here as now APA and Faker once again going aggressive. The Explosive Charge going to even out the trade nicely as there's a flash to get away from the Rocket Jump. Faker taking a lot of damage in return. But this time around, Impact is finding a few of these angles, but just not quite as much of the farm as Ona. is going to get the Valkyrie out from APA. And Umpty comes on over, is able to clear out this Grump Camp, uh, Crow Camp pretty quickly, but doesn't see that Ona's moving on in. His top lane in a whole host of trouble. There's First Blood going over to Zayas as the turret is going to be tanked here by Ona. Umpty wants to get a little bit of extra damage, but he doesn't have the spells, and it's a double kill for Zayas. They get one back as a consolation prize, but Wolf, are we signing the papers? What's happening? I mean, I'm almost ready to at this point as Faker yeah, Faker and APA just always fighting here in the mid lane. Timing. Ooh, I was going to say the timing pretty good for Faker to get out of here, but he doesn't have TP, so he's going to stick around. He may be in trouble now. Yep, JJ making his way over. There's the flash shield of Daybreak, but Faker's going to buffer the buster shot so beautifully, and Ona is here as well. JJ could be in trouble. No flash up and available, and he has a blast cone. We'll see whether that's going to be enough, but nope. That is going to be concussive blows coming through. Carrier even has the door to make sure they don't take damage from that true shot barrage. And impact, possibly also collateral damage from this one. The extender beam comes in the all out is going to pull Ona over and maybe Impact now has an avenue for escape and he does. Great rotation from Caria. APA. Yeah. Um, danger. He does get the honey fruit, but Jan's making his way over and remember there's Brand towards the bottom side of this one as well. Carrier gonna get spotted as Umpty looking for it, wants to be able to find the damage, doesn't get the stun as we can see there as the series going to miss. And this area starting to get larger and larger. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's a solar flare. Gumishi gonna get slowed down. True shot barrage. Not oh, is gonna connect. A little bit of a delay there as Carrier moves on in. Oh, the door is in a weird spot, but Ona's moving on down. So oh, I gotta get that's the full six already. Umpty nearby. I think TL needs to try and get at least one of these, but nope. That is gonna be five taken here as Ona moves his way out. Towards the top side as well. Everyone on TL is in so much trouble. That was a decent dodge there as Yon not gonna walk in to the glacial fissure. True shot barrage looking to be traded as APA moves towards the bottom side, Yun is so, so low, and APA, he's just going to explode. Fake is in there, carries in there, and uh, there is JJ trying to hex flash his way to safety. I don't think even the Eclipse can save him from this one, though, as Gumi, she almost dies to minions, but he's able to move himself out of the way, and JJ will, in fact, he already is. Uh, absolutely, and I feel like T1 have taken game number one personally here, as Yun going to get pushed away. Zayas comes in, Yun's like, I thought their AD carry was a Kaelin. He's not. Oh, uh, well, he is, uh, but it's also a Zayas. Coming from the top side of the map, and Core JJ once again finds himself underneath the turret with kind of nowhere to go. Winter's Bite is going to miss. More Gumi kills, more is waiting for the minions, and uh, I think this Leona is just going to go down. Solar Flare is a lot of extra value, and Zayas, he will die. 600 gold goes over to a Leona. And T1 in full control right now. You can see Impact is pushing top side is Shadow, but Yun's oh, in trouble. Dear. Yun is just going to get prisoned and destroyed. Able to give a good old thumbs up before that one, as now TL looking to try and counteract the play. Let's see whether Impact can find anything. The all-out does go down on to Ona, as the ultimate from Carrier is pretty good there as well to keep them at bay. Impact is getting lower and lower as Gumi Ishii is firing shot after shot. This end Large amount of damage that he does have available. Ona looking for Impact and we'll be able to find the Winter's Wrath. Yeah, I'm moving up as well. And the brand is still lurking. 
Now going to be following these minions forward. Can this flank angle actually work out as Yon has to get himself out of the way? Teleport to come in from APA as well. as is going to get slowed down and he will pop like a balloon. And that could... Talking about there, Wolf, because uh, that could have been a much larger shutdown if it hadn't already gone over <laughs> to core. True, but it's still a big kill here onto his area. Oh, okay, Baker is crazy. he's gonna dive into three people. Not sure about that one. He flashes away immediately, maybe just didn't quite know where everyone was because there's a Rift Herald destroying the inner turret in mid lane, and TL seem unconcerned about that particular eventuation. It's going to be Upti going down though, and T1 are winning on this side as well. CoreJJ takes down Ona, but T1 are still on the offensive. TL get towards the inner turret. So Not buying time, keeping TL locked in to the top lane. They get mid turret, they're gonna get this bottom inner. Yeah, trying to protect the minions here as they look to try and take down the turret. They will be able to do so as APA has to flash away impact. We're gonna make his way in though. Core is there as well. And Zayus, it turns into a 1v2. He flashes forward. APA will go down, but it'll be a trade as the Zenith Blade max range will help lock down Gumiyushi. TL, they ain't going down without a fight, but it's still not looking too great. For the this is the problem here for TL is if the shutdowns were on the right champions, if the kills went over, maybe you could see a world. Area impact might be able to find an opportunity here as the Glacial Fissure comes down. Doesn't really do too much there as it's eaten by impact. And now Core JJ taking a lot of damage. Faker could be in trouble though. The big one, oh, just barely is going to miss his carrier. He'll have the door back and he'll be Jeez. able to protect the go to the mid lane. In the meantime, Erner is looking to 1v1 Yon, who does have the cleanse available for the Glacial Prison. No, they have enough damage though, and Karia spots this out. Faker nearby, they're in trouble. Yeah, and now Core JJ actually gonna get tagged by the Winters by the Ignite comes in, and Faker uh, he does. lining the choke as Teleport actually gonna be invested here from Zaya. So T1, they wanna lock down this Baron now. Looks like TL should be able to get themselves in here though, so at least it could be an opportunity. Flash available for Humpty to get into the pit. Let's see whether the General can be the hero. He flashes through, but he's unable to lock it down, and now T1 are gonna get their team fight already. The brand is being taken out. Core JJ so low, but there's the all out from Impact. And Yon over to the side. Zayus, the last man standing re really here. As far as the damage is concerned, that was obscene yeah, from and, TL. And it feels Impact. like compared to the gold lead here. But these types of fights, if you can win a few of these, maybe TL could get back into this game. As you see, Core JJ slips through the traps here. Yon on a nice angle here. And when Umpty comes through, oh. the smite does come over. But look at this engage from Core JJ. APA free firing over the wall. And there is just no way out here. Then Impact says, all right, Guma, I'm taking you with me, but also using you to close the gap. Zayus will just barely escape goal here for T TL. Still 9,000 gold behind. Yep, so much shutdown money going over the Yonmo, so that's definitely fantastic for this Ezreal. As Core JJ going in once again, Gumiushi, nice net to get himself out of the way of the Solar Flare. Just now Impact trying to be valuable, looking for these cues as Carrier standing stalwart in that front line. T1 just going to get these waves in order though, the one last Baron. This is somewhat dangerous though, you can see Impact is rotating over and there is a Zenith Plate to connect this one. Pillar of Flame not really landing and that is a True Shot Barrage straight into a door. And Faker wanting to take down this inhibitor. Oh my goodness, okay Zayas, I'm not sure about that one, but he takes down the brand and there goes Another one as well. They get the shutdown, but is it going to be worth it? His impact is a brick wall, and he's going to be able to take another one. Yon chasing up the Faker. He is rocket jumping and blast coning, and will be able to get himself out. But again, it's TL winning the fight. Right here, you can really start to feel the lack of a true frontline here for T1. As Carrier, when he's got the door, He's a front line, but when it's on cooldown, it gets a little bit tougher. Owner's isolated here by impact on the oh. other side, and there just isn't the same amount of consistent damage here to deal with impact, even when you have 380 carries. Once Guma jumps in and makes a interesting decision there, let's say, the damage output, unfortunately, to break through this Cassante is just oh, not That's there. the massive gold lead. Oh, yeah. But with bounties up, if they start to take some of them, it could really swing back as the Glacial Prison, not a whole lot of follow-up here as TL are going to stand their ground for the moment. Zayas pokes his head out as now Faker 
Thinks he's found Young, but he does have the Arcane Shift to get himself out of the way. And now Zayas, we're going to chase after Impact. Humpty going to be the one corner, though, and Zayas takes him out. Oh, the brand is a big part of the damage profile here for TL. And now for JJ, the next one that's going to be taken out. They're falling like dominoes, just one after the other. And right as I was talking about it, the window's back in here for TL. Uh, T1 are going to kind of slam the door shut on their fingers. What Umpty's doing at this point in time is the Baron getting taken down so incredibly quickly. There's a lot of AD carries in this game, and they do a lot of DPS. Umpty's got Umpty going to move in once again. He does have Flash one more time as well. And T1, yeah, they know that uh, this is not the fight they really want to take, and they don't have to but because he, there are super minions yeah. that will win the game. The minions are doing their job, and this is putting... TL between, as we like to say in the LCK, between a rock and a hard place. You're gonna either have to defend your base, but you gotta stop this Baron. You can't do both. Yep. And it's a very precious rock and a purple place in this game, Wolf. That's where they find themselves. And T1, There's... they kinda wanna win a fight. Is Carrier gonna go down first? There is the passive being procced, but look at this. I mean, Zayas is just in there. Impact goes all out, but he will be dead or out of there. Yeah, there he goes. Explodes in a fiery explosion of cinders. That is going to be the second nexus of the series going down, but it's one apiece after game number two.